A well-planned routing strategy is necessary to minimize signal integrity issues in your design. Allegro PCB Editor provides multiple easy techniques to create and edit traces between pins or pads on your board. The first step to routing is to define your grid. Go to the Setup menu and select Grids. It's easy to control the grid visibility from this dialog by checking Grids On. In the All Etch section, the fields are blank by default. When you define any values here, it's not necessary to define a grid for each individual layer. Enter 5 in the X and Y spacing fields of All Etch. Click OK to close the dialog. Now, go to the Route menu and select Connect. The Options pane will update with routing parameters like active layers, working layers, line locks, width, and more. Active and alternate subclass fields show the current working layers. The values in active and alternate subclass change when you add vias or change routing layers on the canvas. Here, the top and bottom layers are selected. You can also select other layers from the drop-down menu. For the line lock fields, line and 45 degrees are selected as a default. You can also adjust miter at 45 degrees. Let's keep the miter width as 1x and min. Line width is originally based on your design rules. Here, it's listed as 4.2, but we can change it if required. Bubble creates a boundary between your traces and components, preventing you from violating a DRC rule as you route. Selecting off for bubble will let you route regardless of potential DRC errors. You will still see DRC flags while routing. Select hug only to hug the contours of other etch objects while avoiding DRCs. The hug preferred mode will hug other etch objects and also shove them to open routing paths only when space gets tight. Lastly, in shove preferred mode, you will shove or push away other etch objects while routing. To complete a route, right-click on the canvas and select Done. To insert vias, again, select the Add Connect command from the toolbar. Select a net on the active layer and start routing. While routing, either double-click to insert a via or right-click on the canvas and select Add Via. Adding a via makes the alternate layer active so you can easily continue routing. To change the routing layer, right-click on the canvas and select Change Active Layer. To exit the command, right-click and select Done. It's easy to modify routed connections using the Slide command. Select Slide from the toolbar. In the Visibility pane, turn on the bottom layer and turn off Layer 1 and the top layer. Adjust the canvas to the location where you want to slide traces. The options pane parameters are almost the same between the add connect and slide commands. Bubble works in the same way as it works for add connect. In the slide command, you have an additional feature, shove vias. If shove vias is set to off, existing vias are not moved. If it is set to minimum, then existing vias are only moved if there is another way to draw the trace. And when it's set to full, vias are always shoved out of the way. You can choose any of these methods depending on your design. Allegro PCB Editor's powerful routing engine makes it easy to route even the most complex designs.